cellist terrorists are simply trying to remove the eternal life that humankind has been able to create for itself, while the elites continue in power. If they're able to take it down entirely, like that will mean that the show will have some serious like it needs to go through like a metamorphosis. It needs to go through a change where people can't can't upload themselves into another body. Like that if they're able to remove that like, I think that'll the, that'll up the show. Like, it'll up the stakes for the show. The ability to invest yourself in the characters' relationships with each other and how they react towards each other is very challenging to obtain because you have to constantly convince yourself that that person on screen is someone else or the same person you have always rooted for, although appearing to be someone completely different. They are doing a pretty extraordinary job with this, convincing the audience with full sincerity that they are the same person in a different body, but there is definitely some challenge to achieving that along the way. And so that as, as an audience member, you do have to work a little harder. And that's the, I think for me personally, that's um, where it failed because you didn't have the original actor in there. And so you have... Which, don't get me wrong, he did an amazing job. It's just, that's just how I feel. So anyway, that's just my opinion. This is a ghost's story. Told in the age of eternal life, technology has conquered death, but with endless future comes endless past. We are trailed by specters, twisted apparitions born from our deepest pain, until sometimes we'd rather be dead ourselves. <laughs> Colorful bar with the Magda Prime opens up with the dark discomfort, leading us into the awe of a slow, detached version of Under My Skin. Takashi Kovac is on a long lost quest, determined to find his long lost lover, uh, Calchrist Falconer. The bounty hunter is full of herself with cocky surprise. She can't contain how much disdain she has for the lowly Kovac. The AI character Poe is always a fun character. He provides a certain amount of levity and fun to each story. I love this character. He's so great. Kovach is the singer approached by a bounty hunter and then immediately apprehended by the bounty hunter. He is then presented with, with another job, new sleeve with upgrades, and then given more purpose within his world with possible new direction. Stay alive long enough, and there is nowhere you can go that isn't haunted. All of us have ghosts. They cling to us like shadows. But if you chase after shadows, if you are fool enough to seek out your ghosts, you might just become one. So last season was about the elites and their thirst for con uh, continuous disgusting pleasures. So that's what it was to me. I loved the first season. I thought it was definitely better than this one this one was really good still but i have to say that so anyway um so last season was about the elites and their thirst for continuous disgusting pleasures and their crimes being uncovered by certain people who would allow themselves to be in harm's way only to uncover the remove and remove those elites from power now from what i gather it seems that the flesh that each of these myths take on has the ability to harbor some sort of memory from of their experiences or something of that nature. When Kovach completes his re resleeving, he discovers the entire place has been infiltr infiltrated and he is now having to investigate further and roll with punches on Harlan's world, a place they haven't been for 30 years, revealing to Poe that Horace Axley, the one who has placed him there here, has been murdered. These two are embarking upon a buddy cop journey of sorts, and Kovach acquires his weapons by using the upgrades provided to him in his new sleeve. As Poe is determined to talk Kovach into not remaining there, he explains to him that Axley was a meth who should have been untouchable, and there needed to be some explanation unearthed somehow about that, and that Quell is on this world. Apparently, they have arrived in the middle of a war. Conrad's daughter, Danica, has taken her p 
place in the spot of power, and she is the source of, of the negotiations and their san sanctuary. She is neg negotiating with terrorists. So it seems that Poe, our AI personage, seeks aid from the AIs in the Union, and he resolves that he must find help from another, from another meat bag. Kovach is visited by an apparition who looks like his sister and knows how to shower him with guilt of his decisions before, and how things m might have been much different. As Kovach is interrogated, they discuss the weapon that killed Axley, a weapon that is able to recreate the personal enemies of the soldier and project them on the enemy, increasing the kill shot to 100%. My favorite character of this season has finally come to light. Poe, the AI personage, has stumbled upon a new refreshing acquaintance that may prove to be a great friend to him, helping him retain his humanity, his memories, the thing that actually dictates his emotions and desires to remain in, his, in this universe or in this existence. He is passionate and grateful for her outstretched hand, only subtly weeping with gratitude. Discovering that Jaeger is now seeking vengeance and torture for Kovach, we are enveloped in chaos and he enters his new version of the dementia in a VR world with a handicap. Carrera, aka Jaeger, is now betting on the envoy, even though he drugged him with the picador for the bull. And who does our once beloved Kovach see in the ring first? Kristen Ortega his old partner in so many adventures and trials in the last season. Next walks in Vern Elliott, and these are just basically people and synths that look exactly like all the of his cohorts from the past having to fight them all. 